Hello guys, this is Pawan Kumar and you are watching our quiz studies. So as you know that this video is about principles of design and along with the elements of design, principles of design are also very important if you are preparing for any architecture or design entrance examinations like NATA, JE Men's Paper 2, SEED, UCED, GET Architecture etc. And these are also very important if you are already pursuing architecture or any design course. So now let's learn about principles of design. So what are principles of design? Principles of design are the set of rules a designer must follow to create an effective and attractive composition. It is very rare that we see a design composition following all the principles of design. But yes, the more principles of design it follows, the more it becomes attractive and extraordinary. And so-called masterpieces, paintings and architectures are best examples of perfect use of principles of design. So first we will see each principle one by one and try to understand them. And then we will take an example of any composition or art and we will try to understand using that. So first one is balance. Balance is aesthetically pleasing integration of element and these elements can be shapes, color, values or use of positive and negative spaces. So if we try to say this thing in our very common language like we will say that in a composition like both the sides should have same weight like in this one uh, like if we see left and right have same weight or if we cut like this it have same weight this and this but in this one you see this and this head don't have same weight weight means visual weight so that's why this is a good composition in terms of balance and this is a bad composition in terms of balance so these are the examples of balance first one is symmetrical balance both sides are equal so these are the asymmetrical balance in this one you can see uh, this elephant and rock is balanced with this goat and rock how as you can see this rock is at lower elevation and this rock is at higher elevation so that's why like since this is small this is balanced with the help of making it a little bit higher elevation in this one same is done with the like making it a little bit lower elevation and this dark portion makes it fully balanced okay third one is the radial balance radial balance means from center this comes out and these all looks in balanced fourth is the crystallographic balance in a composition like you can see these elements are being balanced with these all and this here are balanced with this and of course the windows also so this full looks in a balanced manner it's not symmetrical it's not asymmetrical it's not radial also but it is crystallographic next is contrast so contrast is the degree of difference between the lightest and darkest part of a picture so means for example that if you use a dark color in one element the other graphic elements need to be light color to easily differentiate from other one. In many instances, too much contrast becomes unprofessional. In the first picture, this is a good contrast. But in the second one, this is like very dull. This is bad contrast. If you use like simply red color, this is also a bad contrast because this is too much bright for this black background. So these are the examples of contrast. So in the first one, this face is in contrast with this red color. Okay. How? This is green or green is yellow and this is red. So when they are combined, it looks like it is a sudden change in the color. Similarly here, this dark black is contrast with yellow and red. Similarly here and here also. Next we have emphasis. Emphasis is a special importance, value or prominence given to something. This refers to an importance of elements on your design and what order they should have on it. Now the elements can be emphasized with the help of bright colors, big shapes or any property which makes them stand out from the rest of the elements on the design. Like here. This emphasis has been done with the help of like first this title. This spelling is wrong. So this title 
have been emphasized with the help of this bright color and the size as compared to subheading it is more so this is emphasized more and this is emphasized less same here but here it is not a good one because like the thing which is important that is the important is title and subheading but over here this is emphasized more so whatever there is importance we have to emphasize that not the one which is not important so this is the good example of emphasis and this is a bad example of emphasis so these are the examples of emphasis but just by changing the color of this umbrella and face it is being emphasized because all others are in like a similar manner but this is unique similarly here this is like background or we can say the negative space in respect of this one so this is being highlighted or emphasized next is movement so movement is like guiding the user's eye to a predetermined path in a composition like how the user's eye will move in a composition if you see this picture carefully you will see like your eyes will move like this or it can move like this also because there is a hierarchy of this one but over here you can't like it stops because like there is a just uh, there is sudden change in the size of the circle so the, it, it stops you here only you can't go till here you will see as a full picture but your eyes will not move like this these are the examples of movement when you see this image you will feel like your eyes will move like this like this or from here to here or here to like till top this is how like the movement of eyes works in this one it's of course like it's very much evident you can see this will move like this next we have hierarchy hierarchy is the arranging elements to show their order of importance so like in the last one also we had this this thing here also we follow the hierarchy but we also follow movement okay so here two principles are being followed in this one if you see first this is very important then this is important and this is important so so the importance has been done with the help of changing the font okay and this side this title is very important but this is very small so this is the wrong use of hierarchy so we have to arrange the elements in terms of importance okay not simply because we need or we like the design meaning should be in parallel with the use of principles of design hierarchy examples okay hierarchy means you understood it's like the gradual change in the height shape color tone anything here this hierarchy the size is increasing okay so this is how it works here this black shade is increasing and also the size is increasing next we have pattern so pattern is the repetition of more than one design elements working in concerned with each other i think it's very simple as you can see here the first one is the good example and second one is the bad example because the, in the first example the shapes are uniform and the size is also uniform distribution of the elements is also uniform but here the size is changing and their order is also changing so it's not at all uniform in terms of pattern size and arrangement also so this is a wrong use of pattern and this is the right use of pattern and these are the examples of pattern you can see like same elements are being repeated here also if you see them very carefully you will see like same element have been repeated or it looks like same element next is repetition repetition is the using the same elements over and over again so simply means using same elements multiple times in this one this same green circle is used multiple times and the same blue circle or sky blue circle has been used multiple times but over here only one is used multiple times and rest all are distinct so this is the good example of repetition and this is a bad example of repetition this is the example of repetition repetition is like here this same element is being repeated multiple times but the size is being changed and the orientation is also being changed if the size was same orientation was same then it becomes the pattern next is proportion proportion is the relationship between one part of design to another part or to the whole of design in the first one we have this title these circles okay they have some proportion following 
and this is also based on the importance also like since this is very important it is very much bigger or we can say the proportion of this to this is very much or we can say the proportion of this to this is more than the proportion of this to this because over here this is important but they have made it very small or the proportion of this as compared to this is small so this is the bad example of proportion and this is a good example of proportion so you can see this is much bigger than this one and this whole image looks good so like they have used the proportion in a very good manner and similarly here also next is the white space white space is the empty or negative space in the design so like you see in the first one this becomes the subject and this whole portion becomes negative space here it's difficult to find out like which is negative this one or this one that's why it's, it's a bad use of white space it can be used in design but in terms of white space or the principle of white space it is not good these are the examples of white space or we can say negative space like if you see this pillar then this becomes the negative space and if we focus on these faces this pillar becomes negative space similarly here if you see this white bird this whole black thing becomes negative space and if you see this this bird this becomes negative space if you see this bird this bird these birds then it becomes negative space so it is function wise next we have rhythm rhythm is the interval repeating elements now you might have confusion between rhythm and repetition repetition is like same element is being repeated but in rhythm the shape and size can be changed or like manipulated little bit but it should be recognizable like if i use over here like little bit smaller ones here more smaller then also it's a rhythm but then it will not be a repetition because in repetition we have to use the same element multiple times this is of course a bad example of rhythm also it doesn't follow any of these when you see these images you will feel like some movement is happening in your eyes or like the vibration thing in this one also it's like that next is variety variety means you understand the varieties like varying elements and objects in your image so to avoid making them boring just imagine if you simply keep all circles green circles or just this rectangle kite shape it will be boring so if you now you are using this multiple shapes having different colors also so it, it makes it interesting to see now you see over here this is really boring because they have used same element multiple times and there should be some variety we can use this like same element multiple times if we have some variety also but using just one element multiple times it is really boring so now we have the examples of variety in both of the examples the variety of things have been used like none of them is similar or in similar shape or size these are some somewhat similar but also their shape is different here totally different but this image looks good so we can say that the variety principle is used in a very good manner next is unity unity is how different elements of an artwork or design work come together and create a sense of wholeness just by comparing these two you will feel like these are more united and these are not at all united because they are changing in the shape also and changing in the color also that's why like they are different but this they make a sense of unity like you will feel like this whole thing is one but in this one you will feel like this each element is different units now these are the examples of unity if you see this whole image it will feel like whole unit or like it gives you a feeling of unification or unity similarly here although these elements are different but whole 
gives you the feeling of unity and that's what should be your aim when you create any design it should look united or it should look good uh, so this was all about the principles of design so hope you liked this and you learned something new if that is so then please like this video share with the friends and subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because whenever we upload any video you can be notified and if you have any query related to architecture examinations or any other aspect you can ask in the comment section or instagram facebook or telegram